There are three major modalities of uh, treatment of uh, cancer patients. Uh, these are surgery, uh, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Uh, more than half of the patients will need a uh, treatment with radiotherapy at any point of time during the course of the treatment, either in combination with surgery or in combination with chemotherapy or alone. Radiotherapy usually is given on linear accelerators and there are many different techniques of delivering uh, external beam radiotherapy. 3D CRT, IMRT, IGRT and stereotactic radiation are some of the different forms of delivering radiation to the cancer patients. 3D CRT is also known as three-dimensional conformal radiotherapy. CT scan of the patient is uh, taken on day one and a planning system will plan three or four beams for the tumor from different directions so that the tumor gets the maximum possible doses of radiation and the surrounding normal tissues get the minimum possible doses of radiation. This is uh, a relatively simple way of uh, treating uh, uh, cancers with uh, external beam radiation therapy. It involves uh, treatment over a period of uh, five to seven weeks, Monday to Friday, over a period of seven weeks. The treatment is uh, delivered uh, over a period of approximately 10 to 15 minutes every day and the patients can go home after the radiation is over. Now as the techniques uh, and technology have evolved, the treatments have also evolved a lot and uh, we now have uh, intensity moderated radiotherapy, also known as IMRT, in which the planning processes have become more complex. We take a CT scan or a PET CT scan of the patient, uh, we take close 3 mm cuts and we delineate the tumor on each uh, slice of uh, a CT scan and then we order the planning system to deliver maximum possible uh, doses of radiation to the cancerous tissues and the minimum possible doses of radiation to the surrounding normal structures. So the planning system usually come up with uh, plans in which we have uh, tiny beamlets delivering radiation to the patient from different directions so that the tumors uh, get the highest possible doses of radiation curable doses of radiation, I mean to say, and the surrounding normal tissue, tissues get uh, minimum possible doses of radiation so that they don't get, the patients don't get many side effects and toxicities. The treatments with IMRT are usually slightly longer, around uh, 20 to 25 minutes, and the uh, patients usually get uh, fewer and lesser side effects as compared to 3 CRTs. Another recent advance is in delivering the IMRT treatments is the evolution of IGRT which is also called as image guided radiotherapy. In image guided radiotherapy what we do is we take a CT scan or a PET CT of the patient on day one, we plan the radiation with uh, intensity moderated radiation therapy and every day before we deliver the radiation we check that we take a cone beam or a low dose CT scan of the patient and we superimpose that CT scan on the day one CT scan and we try to see if there is any shift in the patient position from what it should be. So any movement of the patient, any 1 mm or 2 or 3 mm movements in any directions, if they are there, can be detected and they can be corrected at the same time in less than a minute. So we start radiation after we correct the patient position and the treatment is thus born to be more accurate and the side effects are minimized. That's what we call image guided radiotherapy because it's image guided. And at the same time for tumors which move uh, during respiration like lung tumors or some abdominal tumors, we can also employ a technique known as a respiratory gating whereby we deliver radiation during a particular phase of respiration so that uh, we are sure that the tumor is in the radiation field all the time. So for example, we might like to deliver radiotherapy only during uh, expiration or inspiration so that uh, the tumor gets the maximum possible doses of radiation when the beam is on. This is also known as active breathing control. Now volumetric modulated arc therapy also known as VMAT has uh, defined new standards of care in the treatment of uh, radiation oncology. Uh, VMAT is actually a very fast mode of treatment whereby the treatment is given in continuous arcs around the patient as compared to step and shoot uh, treatment with uh, IMRT and the treatment can be completed in uh, less than 5 to 10 minutes. So the treatment is uh, supposed to be more accurate and the potential for patient movement is minimized and so VMAT has given us very good results for uh, patients who are very sick or elderly patients and pediatric patients who, who have a potential for patient movement.
Now another very uh, conformal uh, and technologically advanced uh, method of delivering uh, high doses of radiation to the tumors is known as stereotactic radiotherapy. Stereotactic radiotherapy essentially involves uh, SRS, SRT and SBRT. SRS means uh, stereotactic radiosurgery whereby a very high dose of radiation is given in a single fraction to the tumor with uh, complete patient immobilization and under image guidance. And uh, in stereotactic radiotherapy, we deliver the same doses of radiation over a period of four or five days. SRS and SRT are useful for uh, small tumors in the brain, arteriovenous malformations, where the tumor size is usually less than one or two centimeters and we need to give very high doses of curable doses of radiation to the tumor and uh, spare the normal surrounding structures. Uh, the same technology for delivering high doses of radiation anywhere else in the body is called stereotactic body radiotherapy. In this technique, we, Im we immobilize the patient from head to toe and we plan the radiation in over a period of uh, approximately three to five fractions of radiation in a week whereby very high doses of radiation are delivered to the site of the tumor in high doses per fraction. And this is usually done in uh, nowadays still in palliative settings like uh, when you have uh, cancer spreading to the lung like uh, lung metastasis or liver metastasis or abdominal tumors or tumors which are in close proximity to the spine where we have to give very high doses of radiation to the tumor and at the same time we have to spare the spinal cord. So that was all about uh, stereotactic uh, body radiotherapy. I would also like to touch upon the fact that we often employ uh, concurrent chemotherapy and radiotherapy in our treatment settings in which uh, patients receive external beam radiotherapy five days a week over a period of five to seven weeks. So they receive a total around 25 to 35 settings of radiation. And at the same time, they receive uh, a concurrent small dose of chemotherapy once every week which actually sensitizes the tumors to the effects of radiation and thus gives us a synergistic effect so that the treatment is far more effective. The toxicity in chemo radiotherapy is slightly on a higher side but still tolerable and the results are far better than radiation alone and this is especially useful in head and neck cancers and gynecological malignancies. And this was all about external beam radiation therapy. We also sometimes use uh, brachytherapy for the treatment of cancer patients. Brachy is a Greek word which means near, therapy means treatment. So brachytherapy essentially involves placing the radioactive sources in close proximity to the tumor tissues so that uh, they get a very high doses of, dose of uh, radiotherapy and the uh, dose fall off is very rapid so that the surrounding tissues will get only a very small fraction of the dose which the cancer gets. So this technology is commonly employed in uh, cancers of the cervix or endometrium or prostate whereby radioactive sources are placed in close proximity to the tumor under general anesthesia and then uh, the treatment is planned and uh, radiation is delivered in uh, closed rooms under in, through the applicators and it takes approximately 10 to 20 minutes whereby the sources of radiation travel through remote controlled uh, uh, computers to the site of the tumor, stay there for some time and come back to the shield and uh, in this process they deliver very high doses of uh, radiation to the site of the tumor. Brachytherapy usually is given over a period of uh, a few weeks, two to three fractions and it's very highly effective for cervical cancers. We sometimes also use interstitial uh, brachytherapy in which the needles are implanted uh, through the tissues harboring the tumor and then through those needles the computer guided uh, source of radiation travels and gives radiotherapy to the tissues directly around the tumor. And interstitial uh, brachytherapy is commonly used for uh, cancers in the head and neck and in the pelvis.